At first glance, this might look like a regular phone, but upon closer examination, you'll see there is nothing regular about it. This is the Xreal Beam Pro, and when combined with a pair of Xreal's AR glasses, it becomes one of the most affordable and powerful spatial devices out there. I'll do a full walkthrough of this device in just a minute, but first let's talk about just how much power this little thing has. Also a special thank you to Xreal for sending me these products for free and for sponsoring today's video. It does look like a traditional phone, but what's inside is what matters. It's running the Nebula OS operating system, which actually allows you to access the Google Play Store, meaning you can download millions of 2D applications and use them spatially with the Xreal glasses. Everything from email to social media applications and even shopping can be done spatially with 2D apps from the Xreal Beam Pro. That's really just scratching the surface because what that does is allow you to install applications so you can have a personal home theater in your pocket. Now the Xreal glasses have allowed you to hook it to your traditional phone for a while and use it to watch things. But the Beam Pro revolutionizes that by giving you a specific device designed just for your experience. I've been using them with the Air 2 Pros and when combined together, it's an amazing experience. The Air 2 Pros have a 46 degree field of view and you can actually get up to a 130 inch spatial display. Not only can you have a movie theater in your pocket, if you connect a Bluetooth controller, you can wirelessly stream games using the streaming apps as well, meaning you can access your favorite streaming platforms to play all sorts of games on a massive spatial screen. One of my favorite parts is the instant you plug it into one of the two USB ports in the bottom, they are labeled. One is actually for charging, one is for the glasses, and because you have two, you can actually charge the device while you're watching something if you choose to, so you have unlimited power. But we'll go over more about the actual physical device in just a minute when we do the walkthrough. One of the best parts about it though is that when you plug it into the glasses USB device, it automatically launches Nebula OS without any fuss so that you're right in the menu in a matter of seconds. It actually acts as a spatial controller. Once you're inside of Nebula OS and wearing the glasses, you'll move the Beam Pro around like a remote point where you want and click with the device, along with being able to enter text on the device and everything else you would need to control the experience. There are a couple of different viewing modes as well. The first is a body anchor. This essentially anchors the screens where you want them to be and you can look around freely and the screen stays in front of you. You can have multiple applications open and have them set where you want them so that you can look around and they stay static. There also is a smooth follow mode that allows you to look around and the screen follows where you're looking. Now that already makes for a pretty satisfying experience. But then you look at the cameras on the back of the Beam Pro and you wonder why are they so far apart? Let me tell you. These two cameras are actually set far enough apart so that you can record spatial videos and take spatial pictures. That's right, these two cameras right here will actually take spatial video and spatial pictures, allowing you to get a 1080p 60 frames per second view of memories inside of augmented reality. And I have to say, I'm very impressed with the quality and especially the ease of use of capturing these spatial moments. All right, so that's enough of me talking and going over the actual device and what it does. Now let's jump over to my B-roll table and I'm gonna walk you through the device, show you how it works in the application. Okay, here is the Xreal Beam Pro. Let's go over the outside of the device first. You'll see if you flip it over here, you have the Xreal branding. You also have the two cameras. The spacing is actually designed to mimic the distance of the human eyes so you can shoot spatial videos and photos. Another unique aspect is the two USB-C ports on the bottom. One has a glasses icon and one has a power icon. This one is the charging port and this is where you're going to plug the glasses in. You can actually use both simultaneously so you can charge the Xreal Beam Pro while using it, which wasn't previously possible when using a regular mobile device. Other than that, it pretty much looks like a mobile phone. There are three buttons on the side. Your power button here turns your power on and off. You've got the volume rocker here, and then this orange button here is an additional button, and its primary function is for resetting the screen position as well as changing the viewing mode. I'll go over that more in a minute, but essentially you're going to look where you want to center your view, hold down on the orange button, and it'll reset your view as well as reset the orientation of the controller. 
All right, let's turn it on. Just swipe up and enter your password, and then you'll see the Android operating system. All you have to do to start using the glasses is just plug them into the USB-C port. These are the Xreal Air 2 Pro glasses. I'm going to plug them in and put them on so you can see what the interface looks like on the phone. The glasses have adjustable arms and an adjustable nose piece. Here are the two screens, and one of my favorite parts about it is actually, if you flip them over here, there is a button on the bottom. This button actually changes the level of opacity when looking through the glasses. The standard level is more transparent, so you can see your environment more. But if you're in a brighter environment, you can make the glasses darker or more opaque so you can still clearly see the screens. It's really cool and it's all done digitally. You just push the button while wearing the glasses and it cycles through the different settings. Once you have the glasses on, all you have to do is plug them into the glasses port and unlock the device to get started and it'll automatically launch Nebula OS on the Xreal Beam Pro. This is what the Nebula OS interface looks like on the Xreal Beam Pro. You can use the touchpad to swipe side to side through the menus inside of the glasses. You can also swipe up and down to access settings and notifications. Let's start by recentering our view. So I'm just going to look where I want to recenter and hold down on the orange button and you'll see it resets the view. And now you can see me moving the controller around and pointing at the menu system. You can point at whatever application you want to open and then tap the pad and it'll open it. One cool thing is that if you're in any application, let's say Chrome for instance, and you hit the home button, you can then open up a second application to run alongside the first one. You can see when you open up the second application, it places it beside the first one so you can watch something while you browse the internet for instance. You can have two applications open at a time. And there are also options for the windows themselves. You can turn on the broad view, which is currently in beta and changes the aspect to a landscape aspect. And you can also change the window size as well. Tapping the orange button on the side changes the viewing mode. So right now I'm on smooth follow. So if I turn my head, the menu or any application will follow. But if you push the button, it changes the body anchor so that the screen stays static in one spot while you look around. Shooting spatial videos and photos is also very easy. You just tap on the two dot camera button and then switch the shooting mode to either spatial video or spatial photo. When you take a video or a photo, it'll take a side by side image that when viewed in the gallery on the glasses will be changed into a spatial 3D image. Fun fact, you can actually take spatial videos and photos and view them on other devices that support side by side as well. This is a 3D video that I filmed and you can see that it's a side by side image, but if you watch it in the glasses, it combines the two images and makes it spatial. I'm not sure how well that actually comes across in a flat video though. And there you have it. That is a full walkthrough of the Xreal Beam Pro and how it functions. All right, there you go. That should give you a great idea of the Beam Pro. The Xreal Beam Pro is an amazing device, if I'm being honest. And that's not just because this is a sponsored video. I've been using this style of glasses for quite some time. And the Air 2 Pros so far are 100% my favorite, especially when combined with the Beam Pro. It allows a totally different experience than just plugging it into a traditional phone. This is way more seamless, works way better, and having a separate device really actually makes a big difference. But let me know what you think about this device. There's a link down in the description if you want more information about the Xreal Beam Pro or any of Xreal's products, the glasses. The Beam Pro for me is the revolutionary part of this puzzle. And I think that the fact that Xreal is looking to the future and revolutionizing what's possible with this style of viewer glasses we've had for a while tells me that we should keep an eye on Xreal and what's going on. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more content. And as always, happy questing.